Hello there, my name is Wookie and Aaron. Welcome back for another round of the Long Dark. Uh, so last time we um, repaired the spear and uh, got back into the um, the musk egg. Uh, that's yeah, that's what it's called. Um, and now we are heading back to um, what's his name? Um, uh, the trapper. We're going back to his house. I. For some reason, thought he was on the other portion. Um, I did just decide to go through the the musk egg by myself because I figured it would be it would be quicker. Um, and I didn't think it, it wouldn't really. There wasn't too much that happened when I did that. Um, I'm lowering the volume a little bit, uh, but it, it, not too much happened. Um, I mean, I, I basically just ran. I shot a wolf um and i did though however um run into the bear uh right before i came back into the mystery lake region i did run into the bear um did not get into a fight with him though um but i he he came up over a ridge and growled at me <laughs> that's about all i did yeah, I, like, I just want to make sure that I'm still heading towards the, the right location. I don't know if it's going to be easier to climb this hill or try and go around it. I don't know, because last time I went back to his house, it was a pain in the butt. But I know I'm more than likely I'm going to have to hunt him down now. Um, I'm get, I'm, ooh. I'm super tired, holy crap, okay. Um... It might become very, very difficult for me to walk soon, hope... I hope I have a... Um... Bedroll at that cabin. Because if I do, then I will rest... Um... Before I talk to him. Where's his cabin? Where's his cabin? Where's his cabin? Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh, it's the whatever some guy's deer stand that's not an actual deer stand. Oh yeah, I have to remember I am at a sprain risk right now. Not sprain, an actual sprain, but I am at a sprain risk. <laughs> Story of my life right now. So I'm actually recovering from a sprained ankle. There it is. Alright. trees. Alright, um... Yeah, because if I remember correctly, there's no, uh, nothing else in his house. He doesn't have a, a bed available because he's currently in the only bed. What time is it? Oh, yeah, it's becoming night time, so... Alright. I certainly hope I have a... Hmm. I certainly hope I have a bedroll in here. So if not, it's gonna suck. Oh. <laughs> or I just don't get anything. Legend might be bunk, but the spear is real. Maybe the legend is also real. Let's hope so, for yeah. your sake. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. The bear is definitely tracking me. You have any luck with the radio? I did. Did you see the lights in the night sky? The yeah. Aurora? Yeah. We were I'm playing around with that. The radio came to life. Just lit up. 
started spitting out noise, but it was all gibberish. Bits and pieces of things. Music, talking. I think it needs more range, a more powerful signal. If we could find a way to boost the signal strength when the aurora is active, it might be able to get a message out. Let me guess, you have an idea. <laughs> You're starting to get it, Mackenzie. I was digging through some old geological survey maps. Those look like military insignia stamped on there. Focus, Mackenzie! Now, this survey shows a series of radio transponder towers that cross back and forth across Great Bear. Yeah, there, we have seen those. There? Good question. But for another time, we can use these. How? Each tower has some electronics that it serve like a signal booster to make sure the message gets to the next relay. Okay. Yeah. Well, you get me two, maybe three of those, and I might just be able to rig us up our own signal booster. Okay. You might, huh? And I guess I need to do this while old Bear decides if I'm going to become the next chapter in his legend? Don't be silly. Spence's Bear would be long gone by now. That was... 150 years ago. <laughs> Maybe he has, I don't know, genetic memory. Ridiculous idea. But there's definitely a bear out there, and he's definitely interested in you. <laughs> he's Just only interested in me because of you, dude. Says the guy safely inside the wooden cabin. Damn it. You think I want to be in here? <laughs> I need to get a message out, and this might be the only way. What message? What does this have to do with me contacting my friend? There's more at stake than you and your friend! Please, Mackenzie. Get me those boosters. I'll fix the radio, and the first call we'll make will be to Perseverance Mills. I promise. Okay. I'm on it. That's where we back think she box. supposedly is. Watch your back, Mackenzie. What do I have to worry about? I have a legendary 150-year-old demon bear hungry for my blood. <laughs> Bullets don't stop him, but I'm armed with basically a medieval weapon, which I'm sure will do the trick. I'm stuck in this winter wasteland where lights in the sky Such sass. And, the explode, <laughs> and the only people I seem to meet are all slightly crazy. <laughs> And this is all after I crashed my plane deep in the wilderness and somehow lost my ex-wife along the way. Oh my god. I'd really kind of like to find her back. Uh, don't forget about the wolves. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and those two, Let's you know. Get on with it. <laughs> so much sass from Mackenzie, holy crap. <laughs> Just did not want to put up with that. Holy crap, that's hilarious. Alright. Um, I, if I would have done anything with it, I would have put it in the, in here. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Put that in there. So we know we're coming back here. Can get rid of these flares. Don't want to get rid of the actual flares though, or the the flare shells, because I can use those. Um, don't really want to get rid of those. Get rid of that guy, because God, I don't see much reason in me using that. Um, I'm just because I've got so much stuff. And like, I know I need just certain bits of different things, but, you know. Um. I don't know if I want to put the quality tools in there or not. I know I'm also partially just because I'm tired. Yep, yeah, okay. Let's see if I'm allowed to set up camp in here. <laughs> I 
I might just sleep right by him. I wish there was a... I can't remember. There, there's some game that I play that, um... That I played that you can basically you can interrupt this uh, the sleep cycle Like you can basically you just select however much time you want to sleep for or you select just a whole bunch of time to sleep for and then you um, You can interrupt your sleep sleep cycle basically once you've reached daytime can't remember what game that was though Oh, and I've got to remember that there are those um the different uh, things out there, the... Oh, let me guess. Okay, so... It's dawn. Um, where are these guys going to be? Oh, are they going to be in the muskeg? Oh. Uh, Jeremiah has a plan for how Mackenzie can reach uh, Perseverance Mills, but carrying it uh, out may put the pilot in a collision on a collision course with the old bear. Okay. Yeah, I can if I want to go and look for these guys. I may or may not forest talker. This podcast is the forest talkers. Nico. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, I forgot about them. Um. They're basically eco activists, but like really like hardcore. Um. I might go and get those at a different time. I might go and get those, like, basically on my own. Just so that I'm not, like, interrupting the, the story, basically. I don't know how bright it's going to be out. Probably not too bright yet. It's not too bad. I always do that. <laughs> Alright, so we're heading back out towards... Yep, back towards the muskeg. Yippee. The, mu it, the muskeg is literally, it's just a, like, wasteland. That's, the, like, the real issue with it is just how, like... Bad it is out there. <sighs> I felt like I was heading in the wrong direction. I just didn't know how, though. There we go. Does this guy have anything else on him? I think there was a body down here. I don't think he had much else on him. Looks like a new day is dawning. Yep. Yeah, it didn't even like the last interaction I had with the bear, it was Literally, it just peeked up over a ridge, and, like, I... Stop shivering, you're perfectly fine. Um, but peeked up over a ridge, I looked up, and I didn't even get, like, the chance to pull out the, the spear or anything like that. It was just like, okay. It was there, and then he wasn't. So we know the bear is definitely following me. Which, you know, is fun. <laughs> Why is the hunter the hunted? I've got to be careful with the running out on areas like this, because though I'm... Fr I'm I need to drop some. No, I don't. I just need to not get mauled. So we know how well that went last time. Where the hell is it? Oh my god, I don't see it. That is supremely loud in my ears. Is that it? 
Yep, there it is. It's up there by the tracks. I don't think it's heading for me though. No. Can't feel my feet. Yeah, you can. Shut up, you big baby. longer to purify water to reduce non-potable water uh, place a can or pot on an active cooking surface Too much stuff to carry Man. Ooh, my temperature is going down now it is we do know however though that the bullets do kind of scare it away they don't necessarily you know hurt the thing Yeah, it was just like over here. It was over one of the, like on this hill. And it peeked up at me. Wait. I'm so cold, I'm warming up again. <sighs> Alright, so. Let's see where we gotta go now. Alright. Signal, signal to noise. Alright. Oh, okay, so they're just kind of spread out. Yeah. First, they're just kind of awkwardly spread out. <laughs> so if I take off this direction, I should... So I don't know what exactly setting the spear does. I'm assuming what it, what it does is because, like, there's no, like aiming it because it's not like a throwing spear, it's, um, I'm assuming setting the spear, what it basically does is, like, I shove the wood one end, the wooden end, down, out and into the ground, and kind of just, well, it, the bear runs directly at me and runs into the spear, basically. See, I don't want to go out there. I don't want to run into that area, because out in that area is bad. Because I have run into that area before. Those deer just really don't care, do they? Oh no, those are logs. Okay. Alright. Maybe I can get a wind break here. Shortly. Yes, it is nice sometimes to actually kill wolves, but if you don't fully need to, there's no real point in it. Like, yeah, I can use them for meat sometimes, but... What? Ripping my freaking. It just went dark real quick. Why did it go dark? Hopefully there's like a shed or something up here by the... I do not know how to get up to it though. Hmm. So that's an issue. Huh. 
I've never had the rifle jam on me before. So that's new. That startled me. So I can't... I gotta be really careful when walking on hills like that. Okay. Uh, more painkillers, I guess. I, I've just kind of figured it is better for me to take care of those things as quickly as possible. You know? Take care of the pain, take care of the injury as quickly as possible. That way, um, you know, there's no risk of infection. Alright, so there's the tower, but how do we get up to it? Is there, like, a trail, maybe? We gotta walk on the ice. If you're careful on the ice, you don't fall in, but... There may also be the a random chance thing, I don't know. I didn't see anything around the front portion of it. So maybe there's something back here to help get me up there. <laughs> I may or may not, um, with the next episode, because I am getting... Well, on time for this one. I'll get. I'll definitely. I'll get up to this one, but I may cut out some of the travel time just so you guys don't have to see that because this game, really, it does. It does take a lot to complete this game. That startled me. <laughs> I don't like the fact that that startled me. All right. Um. Hmm. I'm not seeing any climbing points or anything. It's not here. Having a harder time seeing the tower now. Because of the sudden darkness. Guess the game is called The Long Dark for a reason, you know. <laughs> Alright, um... I had to get to it somehow. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. No, we're not. Unless I gotta climb up something, then I'll worry about that then. Oh, there it is. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Gotcha, you little stinker. Look at all the little bunnies! I don't think I have too much, um, fuel. So I'm just grabbing some sticks because I, I plan on making a fire when I get up here. Did not care whatsoever. It didn't even care. I guess the wolves up by the freaking muskeg just. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. Gotta stop that bleeding. Yeah, I know.
damn it. Oh, come on. Sometimes the antibiotics don't work. Yep, see, it's just not doing anything. Supposedly there is another... I've probably got pain, yep. Oh, you know what I can do? Antiseptic, I forgot about an antiseptic. If I clean it, yep, okay. If I clean it, it goes away. So, I think I... Shut up. I came over here as, as well because there's a, yeah, so I'm going to head back over that direction, but first I'm going to make a fire and keep myself back up. All right, um, well... <sighs> this this game is it, it includes a lot of running. I do have to say that it includes a lot of running, basically going back and forth and the just constantly making stuff like not but like oh crap I don't have um I do have that torn hat though. And I didn't bring any... Oh, I did bring a sewing kit, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna scrap it just because... Yeah. Alright. Um, but... Yeah, nothing else? Alright. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Yeah, I know. Hush, hush. Um, Could but, end up being useful. Yeah, I know. I'm actually gonna end this one here. Um, I, I'll try and tend to my wounds and stuff. Um, and then I'll probably jump time um, just until I'm at the next one or I'm at the... Um, I... I might record me picking up whatever's in this drop. I probably won't because I'll probably just, you know, use it. Um, but I'm all out of time for this one. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, uh, yeah, so I, I did That's decide just to, to record this. This, ooh, this. um, this is the, um, that was just the, the gear left behind by the one nature group basically uh, not nature group but the um I, I can't remember what they called them um you can have to drop some gear Ooh, old spence family homestead Ooh, we might go to that because i was curious about that to begin with um but yeah so i, I just wanted to record that real quick so we can see that uh, as well as the um because I did, I, I don't want to cut out every bit of like the travel and stuff like that. Um, I'm getting real cold and stuff though, um, so hopefully I can get to the the homestead here pretty quickly, um, and hopefully it's still partially put together uh, so that I can go into it and warm up. So it'd be nice. Is that a body? Oh, it is a carcass. Okay. Ha ha ha! All right. Um, I'm gonna take not too much of that, cause yeah, we'll take that stuff. Um, I could eat anything. Yeah, cause I I am running pretty low on food. Um, ooh, hello. 
great. Look at that. See, I mean, the place just basically looks like, um, you could call it, like, not a necessarily like a, a wasteland, but it's more of just like a lake that, like, it's a frozen over lake. That's basically all it is. Um, and you know, it did. So it's not too bad. But, um, so, <laughs> I'll catch you in the next one. I'll probably, um, jump to the, the homestead just so that we can see that.